What's up everyone? Bella here, your favorite content creation specialist over at Self Publishing School, and I've got something new for you today. When it comes to writing and publishing, insecurity can be a big problem. All writers feel it, and that can really skew your perception of your writing and your book ideas in general. So how do you know if you have a good book idea? What are some key indicators that people will actually enjoy something that you want to write about? I'm going to take you through a few questions to ask yourself and key indicators that the book idea you want to write about is actually a good one. So stick with me and let's get started. So first question you have to ask yourself. Do you like it? I know it seems kind of weird to ask yourself if you actually like the book idea because obviously you like it, you thought of it, right? That's just not always the case. Sometimes people like the idea of an idea more than they actually would like it when they actually start writing. So you have to think about if a book idea is intriguing to you, if you really, really, really enjoy it because you're going to spend a lot of time with this idea and you have to be passionate about it in order to actually write a good book with that idea. For example, I would never write a book about cooking or fitness, not because I don't like cooking or I don't like fitness, I just don't like them enough to spend as much time as it would need to write a great book. Plus, those topics aren't something that I'm super, super interested in, and therefore I wouldn't do it justice and I wouldn't put my best work into it. And when you're writing a book, you really want to make something that you're really proud of. The second question you have to ask yourself is, is there an audience for it? I know pretty much every single idea that's out there has some sort of audience, but in order to write a book and actually succeed in the publishing process, you want to make sure that there's an audience that's willing and looking for your type of book. A quick Amazon or Google search can show you just how many people are actually active in the niche that you want to write about. You can look at comments and reviews just to see how engaged that audience is. The more engaged an audience is, the more interest there is in a topic, and you can pick something around there that you also enjoy. The more people talking about the niche that you want to write in, the better. Number three, is this topic something that you can spend a lot of time on? We're kind of circling back to question number one, but this is a little different. Because because I do enjoy fitness and I enjoy reading about it when I need to look something up about it, but it's not something that I would get excited about writing every single day. That for me is my fiction book idea that I have. That's something that keeps me going every single day and I'm so excited about it. Fitness. Not the same thing. I wouldn't really spend as much time on it, even though I technically do like fitness. If you find yourself getting a little bit bored of the ideal already and you haven't started writing, you probably don't like it enough to spend as much time as is needed on it in order to produce a great book. Now that we've got those questions out of the way, let's take a deeper look into the key indicators that your book idea is actually good and something that people would like to read. Number one, people can relate to it. In order to enjoy a book, people have to find meaning in it, and in order to do that, they have to actually relate to it. That's how you hook readers and build fans and even build a community around your niche. This is why many nonfiction books have a core focus or theme or message around it. Because not everybody is going to exactly relate to the author's personal stories they weave into this novel, but they are going to relate to the overall theme. Fiction is a little bit different in that respect because people aren't necessarily picking up a fiction book in order to read about a theme or message or main idea. That's still there, but people pick up a book because they want to to invest themselves in somebody else's life. And in order for people to be hooked on your book, they need to relate to your characters. They have to build a kind of a bond with these fictional characters because they have to care about their journey and their life in order for them to enjoy the story and in order for them to be invested in the story. And that's what you want, especially with fiction. Number two, it's unique. Now I know not every single book is 100% unique. There's always similarities between different books, but what you have to think about is how can you write about something in your own unique way? Because the thing that makes a book idea unique is not the actual content, it's you as a writer and what you can bring to that idea. The idea here is to write a book that may be familiar to people, but also feels completely unique and fresh based on what you bring to it. So if you feel like you can really bring new angles and different information to a topic that might be covered quite a bit, then that's your uniqueness. That's what makes your story unique, and that's what makes your book idea unique. Number three, people tell you they'd enjoy it. Now, 
I know this can be a little bit tricky because you don't always want to go up and ask everybody you know, hey, does this sound like a good idea? Does it work? Do you, what do you think about it? But that's the thing with book ideas. You never know what people are going to like unless you ask them. So I really encourage you to put together two sentences that can fully describe your book, like a little synopsis, something somebody would read on the back of it, and ask people, does this sound interesting to you? Would you pick it up? Would you buy it? Would you read more? This is going to be one of the best indicators that you have a good book idea because you're asking people who would potentially buy it if they would buy it. Make sense? Number four and the last lead indicator that you have a great book idea. It's something that you're very, very passionate about. Passion is the one thing that makes a book truly unique and truly amazing. People can tell if what they're reading is actually cared about. It's going to bleed through the pages and people love that. The more you care, the more the people reading your book are going to care and that's exactly what you want in order to create fans and people who will buy your next couple books. So focus on choosing an idea that's very, very close to your heart, that you're very, very passionate about because if you're not, the writing is going to come across as lackluster and even voiceless because you're going to end up just getting it over with versus enjoying the process. Process. The more you enjoy writing your book, the more other people will enjoy reading it. And therefore, you have to have a topic and an idea that is something you truly, truly are passionate about. And the same goes for fiction authors as well. If you have a plot, if you have characters that you're just over the moon about and you're just passionate about them every single day, that's going to create a much better book than perhaps another idea that you think might be okay, but you're kind of struggling with getting attached to those characters. If you wouldn't read your own book, other people are not going to want to read your book. And that's all I've got for you today. Choosing a book idea is actually a lot like going shopping for clothes. If you don't initially love it, you probably are not going to like it a week, two weeks, a year down the road. And that will make the process of writing, editing, and publishing that much more painful when it really should be a fun process. And speaking of writing and publishing, if you want to know some next steps you can take from here, we actually have a list of over 200 writing prompts, both in fiction and in nonfiction, for you to download. I will link all of that below along with your free training. Do not miss out on your free training. Chandler Bolt takes you through exactly what you need to write, market, and publish your book in 90 days or even less. So if you're struggling with an idea, download those prompts, see if it can spark any sort of imagination in you, and get you started on your way to publishing your first book. All of that information will be linked below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.